It's cold. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video part of my 31 days of Halloween. Today's video is sponsored by Moda Brush. You guys know I absolutely love their brushes. You can use my code Julia, just my name, J-U-L-I-A, to get yourself some money off your purchase. They just came out with these beautiful, beautiful, frozen, very icicle, looking brushes and they are stunning and i use most of them in this tutorial so look out for them today's video was inspired by this photo that one of my best friends showed me it was like lace all on the side and it was very just fashion forward more runway and i wanted to do something with it so we are calling today's video lace face and everything about this video has to do with lace and then we just kind of we kind of went with it I don't think I was gonna do dark colors to begin with, but here we are. So if you'd like to learn how I got this makeup, then please keep on watching. So for this video, we're gonna start off with a little bit of skincare and a little bit of hair. The hair is actually a really big part of this tutorial, so I hope you guys can see my dirty ass hair right now. We kept it dirty, and we're just putting it into the tightest ponytail that you can put your hair in. And, um, Let's do it. I'm starting off with this face mask from Dermovia. This is their rose water face mask and it's really, really pretty. Like, so pretty. How pretty. So for the hair, I have a specific like color in mind that I wanna do, but I'm not sure. I have two rolls of lace here. I have a white lace and I have a black lace. And we're gonna kind of do like a black meets white lace. And then I'm going to focus on a lot of black and these color rhinestones over here. So I have my OGX hairspray wax as well as my bamboo fiber texture flexible wax. And we're gonna be using these to help keep all the glitter and all the fun stuff on our Hair. All right guys, so we are starting off with the wax. I'm just going to put that all in my hair just to keep it down And then we're gonna go to this really awesome glitter from bright organics and we're using the precision contour brush from Moda to kind of just Almost brush this all into your hair or just kind of like lay it on top I wanted something a little more dense so that the glitter actually would stick to the tip of the brush and go on I'm spraying the beeswax hairspray and then we are taking off our beautiful mask from Dermovia and just rubbing all of this serum in. I decided to lay down all of my little baby hairs because, I don't know, the way that the glitter just stopped looked kind of weird. So I decided to just lay my hair down and it looked a little bit better. Granted, we'll probably be covering a lot of this up as we go along. I'm going to spray that down, and then we are going to move on to the face. I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Glow Primer, and I'm using the Stippler Brush from Moda to just stipple this on. I'm then taking the Tarte Timeless Primer to blend away any pores or lines, and then I'm using the Stippler Brush again to put on my foundation, and you'll see in a second I did use the same brush for my concealer. So I used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm just going to blend all of that out and then we are going to move on to our powder. So I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm using the Highlight and Glow brush to put powder on my eyes and under my eyes and in any other small areas. And then I'm using the bigger multi-purpose brush all over the rest of my face. 
Then we're just jumping over to the brows. I'm filling my brows in with the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Bang & Brunette. I'm just going to fill them in really thick. I don't know, I felt like thick brows would go really well with this look. Thick and dark brows. So I'm just going to fill those in. And then we're going to shape out my brows as I always do with some Shape Tape Concealer. I'm using the Brow Angled Brush from Moda to do this. So I'm just going to shape out underneath my brows and also on top of my brows so we have brows on fleek. Do you guys remember that? When brows on fleek was like the saying to say. <laughs> Now it's time for my favorite part of this tutorial. It's the lace. I used a little scissor to cut out all of the little flowers in the lace and I just laid them on either side of my cheeks and forehead and just the sides of my face. I'm using the Mayron Spirit Gum to stick it on. As you see me like tapping on my face, that's what gets the glue or the Spirit Gum to be tacky. So all you have to do is just tap a little bit and you should be good to go. Um, I didn't know how to stick it to my hair, so I kind of just let that be because um, you shouldn't stick spirit gum or any other adhesive to our hair as we learned in our ABC Series D video if you want to go check that out. <laughs> Then I'm using this big brush from Moda. This brush right here is the Eye Contour Brush. I'm just using that to blend a purpley pink shadow that I took from the original Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I then took more of like a precision uh, smoky eye brush to the inner part of my crease for a dark blue and then we jump back to another Morphe palette. I believe this is the 35K with just like a flat shader brush from Moda. This one's called the Domed Shadow Brush and I packed the black on top. We blended a purple in to the crease with the same brush and then popped on some lashes and mascara and now we're on to the highlighter. So this brush that I'm using from Moda is called the Precision Angle Brush. I just used that to put on this highlighter from NYX and then I topped it with this Pinky Swear Pigment. We're gonna move on to the lips. I'm using this lip liner called Nevermore from the MAC and Aaliyah collection. It's like a very, very deep purple. And then I use the Too Faced Glitter Lipsticks, one that's more of like a purpley blue and the other that's more of a pinky purple. And I topped it off with a Tattoo Junkie Glitter Lip Topper and this is the final look. Thanks guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to me right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I am uploading throughout all of October, which is a ton. And of course, make sure to check out all the rest of my videos right here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time.